Welcome back to the airdrop is right everybody it's so good to have you and this fight's gonna be incredible again for this beautiful airdrop That's the price to win who's our contestant We've got the dark Voyager in the right corner and as you can see he's gonna be at a huge height disadvantage starting at the bottom of the hill While his contestant the red knight starting on top of the hill It's gonna be really interesting to see how these two go at it who's gonna win you're gonna see in a couple of minutes There we go It's gonna start the dark Voyager here going straight up the hill trying to get on the same level trying to get on the same height as our red knight because if you stay down there you're gonna be in a bad position to try to do any sort of building fight there you go dark Voyager actually falls down so the red knight not gonna let him get on top at all here let's see if he finds an opening and we're gonna get another angle and yes he does actually he's gonna start building gets a little edit there and starts building towards the other mountain and what is the red knight gonna do now the dark Voyager actually has the height but there's a jump pad oh my goodness this is a really aggressive play this could be risky and we're looking at another player who is that guy I don't even know shooting at them from the distance and trying to get in on that fight now the red knight still on top dark forger keeps falling down actually do believe he took over 80 fall damage oh again they get really close here again any headshot with a shotgun could be lethal so all of these guys have to be careful and edit there that's a risky one actually gonna take 80 damage there you go this was a really risky move that by the dark forger but still alive probably around 40 hp if my calculations are correct he is not in a good position. The Red Knight's been dominating this fight so far. She did start at the top of the hill. And there's another jump pad. Two jump pads used in the same fight. And this is really bad. He could get headshot at any, any given moment here. We talk about 40 HP. There's actually a few shots coming in from the Dark Forger. And as you can see, the, the zone is going to start moving towards them. It's going to come at play in this fight. And there you go. The Dark Forger shooting. Actually making the Red Knight fall down. This is a good strategy. He actually has some momentum. This is one of the last circles. It's doing a lot of damage to that Red Knight. She's got to be careful. She's got to get back on top. Actually going to fall down. And this could be it. There it is. There it is. The Dark Voyager on bottom. The whole fight actually was at a disadvantage this entire time. Probably ended this fight with less than 20 HP. And still managed at the end come out victorious. And let's see what he finds in this drop. He really, really deserved this one. And it's another semi-auto sniper. I don't think our Dark Forger here is too happy about his prize, and you know what? You get what you can, and oh, what is he doing? This is a complete turn of events. He's actually going to go in the zone and die. This means the third player gets the victory royale. Wow, this was not expected. Crazy moves here from both players. I'm going to have to say congratulations, but this random player over here gets the victory, and that's all that matters in the end. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next week for another episode of The Airdrop is Right.